Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and uh, this one's less of a tutorial but more of a new feature that's in After Effects CC 2017. Uh, just came out, I just updated to the 2017 release and I am already excited about one of the features in it and I want to cover that in this video. So I'm going to have a CC 2017 update series that goes over a couple of the releases that's uh, come out and something to get excited about for this one we're going to go over new project templates and so uh, this is the new feature summary I'm going to have a link to this in the description as well as uh, this page right here which gives you the newest updates for November 2nd so uh, if we scroll down here we can see that you know and I'll go a little bit slower so you can see uh, we've got these new 3d composition 3D composition rendering. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that. And then we've got performance improvements, GPU accelerated effects. So notice some of these things, brightness and contrast, fine edges, all these things are now GPU accelerated. So uh, if you have a good uh, graphics card, it's going to be even better to work in After Effects. We've got live text templates, character animator, um, and then the one we're going to focus on is this new project from template. So pretty cool feature. What you can do is you can create a template and then when you create a new project, it will pull all the information from that template. So uh, for a long time, I've been working in uh, templates. And if I go into my folder here and go to templates, we can actually see that I've got an After Effects template and Premiere Pro template um, that I usually use. And I make a copy of that folder and go uh, into After Effects and, you know, change the name of the project template and everything. So now that there's a template you can share with other people and you can actually use yourself. So how does this work? Well, let's open up After Effects. And before we go there, I do want to show you that there's also a list of everything else that's been updated on this page as well. But this just kind of breaks it down for specifically the 2017. Here you can go into some of the older releases like 2015.3, which I feel like just came out. Um, but let's go ahead and over, open After Effects in my endless array of Adobe products here. Um, bef actually, let me show you one thing. Before we go into here, if you go into your Creative Cloud and you do your update, you're going to have a bunch of updates if you haven't updated to 2017. But when you click Update, there's an option below there, and I apologize for not recording this when I updated, but there's an option for Advanced Settings. Uh, you can actually keep your older versions of... After Effects and Premiere and any of the other ones you're updating and I do recommend that you keep the older version because there's times when I'm working in a new version that something has happened with an older project file and I need to get back to that older version so I do recommend that you know you can do whatever you want with your settings and preferences but as far as keeping an older version I would keep that for you know, normally about four to six months until they've kind of got all the bugs worked out with the new versions I would uncheck that box so let's go ahead and go here scroll down a little bit to find my 2017 version because see I've still got a couple versions old too alright so now that I've got it opening up here I've already created a template file but I'll just go through the steps again so that you can see how to do it uh, basically now that I've opened it uh, and yeah I know I don't have any space okay I get this start screen and look at the overall layout they've made these buttons a lot more uh, appealing and if I close this and go to uh, my preferences oh, I should have just used the shortcut on that one the layout looks a lot cleaner the buttons are just a little bit different and if we go through these it looks really nice that they're rounded and the colors, uh, I think they did something different around these. Maybe they made it one pixel or two. I don't know. Maybe it's not different at all. It just looks different for me. Um, but anyway, it looks really clean, and I really am excited to come in here. These icons have actually changed a little bit. You can notice that these have a white background now. Um, but anyway, so let's go up to um, how to set this up. Go to Edit, and then back into our Preferences, where I just was, and click on New Project. And now I've got this checked, but yours is probably going to be unchecked like this. And what we can do is check it and then choose project template. But before you do that, what you want to do is go in here and create your template file so we can add a couple folders. So audio, let's say I have an images folder, I have a compositions folder, and what else do we have? Video folder, and whatever else you want. These are usually the ones that I have. So I'm going to pull these out. And so these are all folders that I would ordinarily have in my uh, template file. To I want these to be here every time. And if I even wanted to, I could go through here and let's change this to red, change my images to 
Uh, I don't know. Let's pick blue. And then video, I want you to be dark green. Not really. I don't like dark green. So let's change that. Do we have an orange? Okay, let's do an orange. And then compositions, we'll just leave yellow. So we can set all this up. And then we go to File and then Save As. And we're going to save this as a template file. So notice this is After Effects template file .aep. That's actually a project file. If I go down here and save as type, I can do template project. And it can be either one. Uh, you can also save an XML format. But this is the one that I already saved. So let's just imagine this isn't here. I type that out and click save. And then now that that's saved, since I in my preferences, have this checked it's going to show the location of my file and then when I close After Effects no I'm not going to save that and I go in into the program boom to open that up they could have worked on the start screen to make it open even faster but whatever they'll get there right okay so now that we've got this open okay I know there's not enough space click OK and if I go to, not this, I guess I could do it from here. New project, boom, it has everything in there. And every time you create a new project, it's gonna have everything here. So if whatever folders you have, you can also do this with some color adjustments and it'll save them in that template file. You can come back in here, click new project. You don't have to copy a template file. And I'm not sure what your process is, but I know for me, I thought that was even fast to have a template file versus creating these files every time. But I really hope this has been helpful. Uh, I look forward to doing the other videos about the new updates because they've really got some cool stuff. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. And I'll have the links to the new feature updates in the description of this video. So thanks, guys. Take care, and I'll see you around.